Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about what is MRO MRO basically we differentiate in two different business terms one is general business term or you can say general supply chain and another is aviation industry so MRO in general business term is maintenance repair and operation but when you talk about the aviation industry, MRO stand for maintenance, repair and overhaul. And basically the main purpose of both is same to make the operation run smooth, but the way it performs is pretty different. So for general business term, the MRO which stand as a maintenance, repair operation is often overlooked, but essential part of doing business. It ensure facility equipment systems and tool are stocked, maintained and safe to use. Because of the implication of MRO can have no cost, productivity and safety, most businesses digitize the MRO process to optimize inventory levels, streamline procurement, improve supply chain, relationship and stay ahead of equipment failures. So basically, when we say MRO as maintenance repair operation so it's mainly whatever we have uh, the operation going on for example in the factory for the machine so we have to make sure the machines are performing well and we have proper uh, proper inventory in order if there's any failure or the basic main purpose of MRO is to avoid failures but in case you have so you have proper equipment to repair so that you can run your operation smooth but there's a different stage of MRO versus maintenance when you, you have something for maintenance you try as soon as possible to fix it and to uh, continue your operation and there's so many things to back up like some people have buffer in order if there's any breakdown in the machinery or in the production line you have buffer to make sure the time you're gonna take to maintenance you can recover by using that buffer so then you have repair also it's a con it's a second stage when the machine is not able to get maintained and it needs some repair and the operation is mainly like you have everything in the inventory and you're gonna change as much as possible and sometimes you change completely to make sure they you're gonna avoid the future occurrence of that breakdown so that's just over overview of like uh, what is maintenance repair and operation in general business term but the main important MRO is uh, of aviation industry because avi aviation industry is very expensive and uh, you can say costly industry so there any breakdown cost you a millions of dollars so in, in, in all aviation maintenance repair and overhaul is term as MRO which are, essence, are essential for any industry that uses machinery to run operation in aviation sector the term MRO aviation refers to all activities that are aimed at ensuring that aircraft remain ready to fly all the time so being uh, I I use I I've been working in the aviation industry and the importance of MRO is beyond than the normal person can imagine. So I will give you, a, give you an example. In case there's any AOG, which is known as airplane on ground, is is a term mainly for the for the situation when the plane have some breakdown and they need urgent repair or urgent maintenance so in that situation the MRO facility they have to support the the plane that is on ground because they have to fly it they have to fly that plane after certain time so they cannot hold that plane in at the airport or on the ground so MRO mainly uh, in aviation industry is a third party sometimes even like Boeing, they have their own MRO in facility and third party. They tie up with different companies like Saffron is one of the biggest like lending gear provider and they have many MROs. So they support for their parts for whatever they do the production or the manufacturing. So 
maintenance repair and overhaul in aviation industry is very crucial and very important so maintenance is when there's a some breakdown not breakdown even there's a some fault and failure so the first stage is maintenance so there are no snag and failure observed and the aircraft is serviced to simply keep it functional readiness and is to make sure that there will be no big uh, big breakdown that can happen in nearby future so that why they need maintenance and there are so many terms and conditions through which you identify if you need maintenance or not but if when when your when the particular machine or the part of aviation of aircraft went to MRO, if they cannot maintenance, then they have to do the repair. And the repair is term when they have to change some particular parts, or they have to modify something or upgrade something that is termed as repair. And when it's repair, mainly it's it can be because it's it will be because the plane have been flying for a long time and now the because whenever there's any problems in any aircraft aviation as aviation industry is very expensive industry so they don't take risk on any single failure so by testing every time they identify if they need the maintenance or repair so if the repair is also not uh, possible then the overhaul Overhaul is when you break down each component of the part or each component of any machinery from the aircraft and then you test and you identify whatever you need to replace that is overhaul. It means for example I give you the example of uh, landing gear. Landing gear is a separate part in the airplane that used to land the plane or fly, take off or land. So separate part and definitely most of the time is provided by separate company like engine of the uh, plane provided by Pratt and Whitney and landing gear may be provided by Saffron. So Saffron MRO gonna take care of each and every component when they do the overhaul. And MRO uh, in aviation business model there are different types of MRO even independent repair station is mainly you can say third party fixed based operation operators they have like some contract commercial airlines have so it can be airport regional airline facilities that's also available in airport military facility if the plane is of military so they definitely have their own military facility to do the MRO and in in house when it's in house is mainly the company for example the plane is of Boeing so they do the in house MRO so I hope I made a little bit clear between MRO in general supply chain and MRO in aviation industry. But in general supply chain, it's have different aspect and in aviation it had different aspect. But both are very important part in order to make sure the production is working, going smooth, you need MRO maintenance repair operation. And in aviation industry to make sure the plane is flying with proper test and proper requirements then you need maintenance repair overall to make sure plane is in a good condition so thank you so much if you had any question let me know in the comment section and i will upload more videos to 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 make sure that uh, i can provide more information regarding to mro in aviation industry or in general supply chain thank you so much